Welcome, guys, to episode 143 of the Two Game Podcast. Due to technical issues, this will be a segmented episode this week. I had to remove a lot of content due to audio and video issues. So without further ado, here are our discussions on College Football 2025 and Assassin's Creed Shadows. The first one that we're going to talk about is College Football 25. And I know Chris and I are bigger fans of this than Christian. Have you watched said trailer there, Chris? Yeah, so I hadn't. And the other day in the Discord, Eric asked if if we had checked it out. And I told him that I had been adamantly trying not to because I knew it would just piss me off. And it did. It really pissed me off. It showed me nothing. It, it, it showed me that NCAA football is returning, which I already knew <laughs> and was already excited for. But it showed me literally nothing else. Like, the, I get one image of an actual drop back so that I can see what the field will look like in, you know, in time playing, you know, you take the ball, you're the quarterback, I get that, cool. But why has it got to be fucking Jalen Milrow throwing it? I don't care to see the back of his jersey when I'm trying to enjoy the game that I've been waiting on for 12 years. I just... <laughs> And then the rest of it was literally just clips of nondescript wide receivers catching touchdowns in the back of the end zone. Like, yes, I'm aware that that's going to happen. I need to see, I need to see the movement of the panorama as you take the snap, and I need to see the field as you know. I just, I just wanted something, man. I just wanted something, and <laughs> that didn't get it. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed it. But I'm just saying, the uh, Michael Williams was the guy that sacked uh, Jalen Miro in that scene, in that particular clip. Just saying, I did see that. Yes, well, I, did, I saw it was Georgia guy. I didn't see who it was. <laughs> I was like, but, I am uh, down for this. Yeah, it, you know, LSU. We just shipped off Jaden Daniels, Malik Neighbors, Brian Thomas Jr. Who am I going to be able to play with in this game? You know, why couldn't <laughs> they have done this shit a year ago when we had a fucking <laughs> roster? You know, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Trash. Trash. <laughs> Trash. But I'm honestly, ob obviously, I'm fucking stoked about it because we've waited 11 years now. So um, it's going down. It's, it's going to go down. But I was, I was pissed off, absolutely pissed off by the reveal trailer. Y I rate. Yeah, um, it wasn't. It wasn't a good trailer. Like for a reveal trailer for a game that comes out in. Like a month? No, two? Uh, two months. Two months. You think you're going to give us a little bit more than what you gave us. So for those that have not watched the trailer, it is essentially like if if you watch the gameplay, and they say it's in-engine and shit like that, and it, those are real-life gameplay aspects. Yeah, okay. Sure. I, I, I don't believe it. Um, but do you remember when— I hope they're not. Right. Because it looks too much like Madden to me. I— I, it's hard to tell because I want to be like you. I want to see the entire field, and then I want to see a snap. Um, right. That's when I will be able to tell whether it is a Madden clone or not. Because, look, the games did not play the same. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Absolutely different. To, I hated playing Madden because you couldn't do anything with your running back. Yes. You just take the snap, and you go three yards, and you fall forward. Which I get it. That's mostly what they do in the NFL, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fine. Like college football, I want to be able to just make people look absolutely stupid. You know, it was more fluid with the gameplay, yes. and that's my biggest thing. If it plays like Madden, that's going to be a huge turnoff for me, and I'm going to be so fucking disappointed. Y'all will hear nothing but rants for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if I'll, dude, I'll take the shit back. I'm gonna, I'm going to buy a copy at GameStop, brand new, so that I have a week to try it out. And if it plays like Madden, I'm not gonna keep playing it. I promise you, I'm not. So they in the in the game. Do you remember like how the 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 announcers and all that would show like replays of your play? That's kind of the gameplay that we got in this. It's very zoomed in. Uh, very fluid with the camera and shit like that, and that's just not what we needed. We I, we all wanted to see a fucking snap, okay? Just show us a bunch of different teams, show the snaps, and then show the replays in between. That would have been fucking cool, but no, they didn't do that. Um, so just some notes as to what 
College 25, College Football 25 has to offer. Return of Road to Glory, which I'm not going to sit here and say that I played the shit out of that, but I played the shit out of oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. 1,000%. <laughs> uh, 1,000%. Dude, my quarterback had like 17,000 passing yards one season. Just <laughs> oh, so much fun. I'm glad they're bringing that back. Uh, Dynasty mode, which I am super fucking excited about. Uh, I, I, the one thing that everybody was curious about with this game, more so than the look and feel of it, how was Dynasty Mode going to handle NIL and recruiting? And they didn't show any of that. Any of it. They didn't show any of the UI, any of the menus, nothing. And that really pissed me off. Legitimately pissed me off. But the other thing that kind of pissed me off is... They're including Madden NFL shit in this game, which is Ultimate Team. Uh, that's the shit with, like, the cards, and then you can, like, if you buy, like, the Deluxe Edition, you can get, like, an Ultimate Team pack with a special player item. Like, what the no. fuck is any of this shit, guys? Like, we don't fucking need that. We don't want it. We don't need it. Give us the game that we fucking wanted, which was Dynasty, Road to Glory, and then online play. That's all we needed. I agree. Uh, but it will also have this new mode called Road to the College Football Playoff. Something tells me that's just going to be a standalone thing. Like, it's just going to be like a Like the Madden story? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Um, either that or it's just going to be you pick fucking 12 teams and you just do a bracket and you just play, what, three games in a row and... Do it like that. See if you win. So it's it's either going to be what you said or or that. Um, I hope it's just story mode. But I don't think it's. If I'm being completely honest, I think they're going to go more the the bracket route where you just play three games in a row. Okay. If I had to guess, uh, they also have team builder, which is you know you can create your own team from the ground up and you can play that in dynasty mode. Did that a few times. Um, you can also like import like pictures and shit like that to to do it, apparently. I used to do that with uh, Pedal. I used to make the Pedal Panthers a uh, college team. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> we won lots of games. I just, <laughs> that's the only time we won lots of games. <laughs> Pedal used to be good a long time ago. I remember when I was a little kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A wee lad. <laughs> a, a wee tot. <laughs> uh, Jesus, man. Hours upon hours of just creating players and shit like that. And that's all gone. Yes. All the names are already in there. I'm still curious to know if people did not opt in for the game, why you cannot or how you cannot create that character. I, I don't know how they're doing that, but apparently that's a thing. Uh, I mean, I guess that will be interesting to see. Do, do they have the actual characters, like faces and names in the database? Even though they can't use them, that way if you were to mimic it, it just like catches it and says, "Nope, too close." You know, like I, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like the uh, the southern spelling on their names, like you know, like Kaylee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put yeah. a L E I G H at the end. <laughs> 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 it's not the same person, damn it. <laughs> uh, but one cool thing that I saw from the from the, uh, I guess it was in the press release. Campus IQ. So it's new future new features called like wear and tear. And that's through the game and through the season, which I am hundred percent for. I think that adds a little bit more realism to the game. Yeah, for sure. So if you're using your running back every single play for like four games, apparently he can get injured more in game five and he gets fucking tired and his stats go down or some shit like that. That's gonna be fucking cool. And I'm hundred percent down for that. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. That is that's pretty sweet. And there's also pre-snap recognition bullshit, which I think that's just normal shit. I'm, <laughs> it didn't sound like anything new to me. So, uh, you well, that's one of the things that I was wanting to be different because that's a complete like NCAA. That was the holding down L1, adjusted your line, holding down R1, adjusting your route tree if you wanted to. You could literally do everything in six seconds. You could wipe the entire play that you had call an audible and draw your own in seven seconds you couldn't do that shit in madden so that's like literally one of the 
if I can't do that, I'm not going to even enjoy playing it because that's how I play the game. So, they better be just copy and paste from 2014, if we're being honest. <laughs> I'm a fucking that's riot. legitimately all we asked for. Just, just give us the fucking yes. game just on consoles. That's all we wanted. <laughs> At least that aspect of it, for sure. That's uh, you can play as all 134 teams, plus uh, it includes their settings, stadiums, traditions, rivalry, rituals, specific team runouts. That shit looks good. Uh, it looked good in the trailer. Yeah, that did look cool. I, 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 I was on board with yeah. that. Uh, so there's uh, there's the standard edition. There's the deluxe edition, which is $100. The standard edition is nope. 70 so let me ask you this, Chris. Are you going to pay thirty dollars more to pay this game to play this game three days early? No, because I know you're. Because no. I know you're not going to get into like the ultimate team pack bullshit. So it's it's legitimately just no. three days early. No, that's uh, even if I even if I thought that to me, like if, if say I knew I was going to work for six weeks straight, but I had those three days off leading up to it and i was like "Ooh, i can play the shit out of this and then not be able to play it for a while so if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it now i wouldn't do it on principle because if that's the only ad advantage i'm not i'm not falling prey to just some choppy ass cash grab like that yeah Fuck that shit i disagree with it too much fundamentally and i wouldn't do it but that's ea man that's fucking ea all fucking day yep. they are Sell nothing out. but cash grabs yeah fucking fuck those motherfuckers um, three days early. Look, I have waited fucking ten years for this fucking game. I will wait three extra days. I can I can wait seventy two more hours. Yes. <laughs> fuck you and your one hundred dollar deluxe edition and your ultimate team bullshit. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> cram it up your cram hole, EA. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also a MVP bundle. And this is just this is just fucking ridiculous. Now if you like Madden twenty five and NCAA twenty five by all means, this is this is 100% going to be the thing that you want to buy because this is actually going to save you money. Um, it's $150. $150. You get Madden 25 along with the game, uh, plus all that Ultimate Team pack bullshit, plus, like, player items. I don't know what the fuck player items is. You just revealed the goddamn game, and you didn't reveal what the fuck a player item was that's included in the fucking additions that you're selling. <laughs> like, what the fuck is any of this shit? Hmm. This is stupid. That was poorly yeah. done. You know what, Chris? Poorly Fuck done. Fuck you. I wasn't mad about this game until you said something, and now I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's my fault. <laughs> All I did was point out some obvious truths. Uh, recency bias, sir. Recency bias. But to be to be <laughs> fair, Eric, before you hear this and get pissed, I told you before I watched it, it was going to piss me off. So that, that's, that's fair. Don't, you could say that. Don't come at me with that madness. <laughs> Come on, also, <laughs> also, they already have a game called Madden 25. Why are they having another game called Madden 25? Just saying. But but Call of Duty has like the same game like seven times, so I guess that's neither that, here nor there. That that's fair. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Truth. So this game comes out July 19th, and it's on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S only. No PC. No previous gen editions. So, fucking excited for it. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. But I'm going to be cautiously optimistic about it. Sounds like it's about to disappoint. <laughs> probably. Probably. It's EA. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not going to go that far yet. I'm I'm still holding out hope that they just they 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 took enough notes from listening to people bitch over the last decade about why we missed it versus why we won't just play Madden instead. So Exactly. That's that's the hope. Um, dude, have you been have you been on TikTok and seen all the uh, TikTok videos of people of uh, people with their fucking headsets on and it fucking plays music and it's like oh third down in Nittany Nittany Lion Stadium and shit like this. You know what? I watch every single one of those. Okay, I I fucking enjoy them all. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> I enjoy every single one. I of see them. you. Yes. My my favorite is and I fucking hate the song because it's Tennessee, so go, they can go fuck themselves. Uh, but the Rocky Top song and it's Dolly Parton singing it mm -hmm. and it's like. Yeah. You're on a uh, Saturday night game in Rocky Top, undefeated against an undefeated Tennessee team. I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking hyped for this goddamn game. <laughs> <laughs> please don't please suck. Don't suck. <laughs> Just please. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, 
if you're out there making those videos, just know that I'm watching them, okay? Yes, keep making them. Keep making them. You are appreciated, sir or madam. Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yup. Just got revealed. Um, I'm trying not to be super hyped for this. I want to put a disclaimer out there. I've never played an Assassin's Creed game. Actually, I take that back. I played Assassin's Creed... Which one was American Revolution? Is that two? Three. Three. Um, I played a handful of hours of three. Didn't finish it. That's the only Assassin's Creed game that I have played. But I don't know. Stealth, Ninja. <laughs> Assassins, Ninjas, Feudal Japan, 1579. You can play as a, a fucking samurai. I'm in. I'm and in. <laughs> you can also play as the, the was it, the timeline correct black samurai? Yes, the uh, legendary African samurai. Indeed. So this is set in feudal Japan in fight, uh, Fife. 1579, <laughs> it's complete with samurai, shinobi, Portuguese merchants, Jesuit missionaries. So essentially, if you liked, loved, jerked off to Shogun, the series, this is a game for you. That's, that's, the, that's the vibe I got from this. Um, for the first time, you can play as a historical figure in one of these games. You're playing as you can play as Yasuke. I'm probably saying that wrong. Go fuck yourselves. Um, that is a legendary African samurai, and you can also play as um, again. Now we say this wrong. Nawi? Oh, thank God, <laughs> you saved me, sir. <laughs> Yasuke and Nawi, you got it. Uh, which she is more of a swift, agile shinobi who kind of falls more in line with like the traditional Assassin's Creed protagonist. Um, they're going more for stealth in this game, considering the the era and the setting. So they're trying to put the assassin back in Assassin's Creed. Yes. Mm, how about that? It's only been and then the times. Uh, African samurai. Uh, he's more of like the I'm going to fuck people up kind of character. So that's where your more robust combat system is going to come into play. Um, each character, and the best way I can describe this is, because the question I had was, okay, are they going to kind of just pick one and just play the entire game as that one? No, it's going to be like Spider-Man 2, where each one has a set, like you have to play as this character for a specific quest. Mm. Uh, but beyond that, you can play as whichever one you want. Oh. So it's just like Spider-Man 2. Uh, the game does have dynamic like dynamic world shit going on. So dynamic lighting, uh, destruction, the real world progresses through seasons and weather, which will impact the gameplay. So if it's like winter and there's like icicles on the roof, those can fall and alert enemies to you. Or if it's really windy, that can obscure your footsteps. Uh, shit like that, which that sounds pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, the region itself is similar in size to Origins Egyptian map, although this is based on more of like a Ugh. realistic scale. Uh, they do have castles in here that will serve as the dungeons, and then apparently the quest will guide you with hints rather than directly point out your objectives. I don't know how I feel about that. Like I, I don't need like a necessary like a oh go from point A to point B kind of thing, but. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to have to think. Maybe I just want you to think for me. Yeah, that, I mean, this, that could go one of two ways. It's either honestly mm. going to be really cool, or I'm going to get stuck at some point and then wander around like a like a moron for an hour and then get so mad about how easy it was to begin with that I just stop playing it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So that's kind of the gist of Assassin's Creed Shadows, Christian. Are you excited about this game? Cautiously optimistic? Uh, I'm cautiously pessimistic? optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic. <laughs> to be honest with you, because I've played every Assassin's Creed game that came out just because I like the worlds they set up and they're pretty. And some of them are some, you know, depending. Like when um, Assassin's Creed uh, with Ezio, his world of Italy and all that, just wandering around that, it's just entertaining and my wife actually will watch me play those games because she likes watching the um the background i guess is the best way to describe it um mm -hmm. i've been waiting for a fucking ninja assassin's creed ninja they 
freaking gave me Black Flag. I, I was pirate. You know, not about pirate. Pirate. Um, <laughs> Olympian. Um, you know, what Odyssey. Else? I still have that wrapped in its fucking packaging. Like, I've never opened that game. You should probably never. <laughs> it's open still it. sitting on my fucking shelf to play. I, right. I think it's on. I think it's right on Game Pass right now. Belongs. So you're. <laughs> <laughs> just don't ever open that, sir. <laughs> don't do it. What are y'all talking about? Everybody loved Odyssey, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as crazy. I mean, you talked a lot about it when we were working together. I mean, it was it was fun to stab people in the face with fucking a half a spear, but yeah. I just want to Spartan kick them. Indeed. This is Spartan. I mean, I Spartan kicked a lot of people, but, you know, you can only... It's like Valhalla. You can only do so much before it gets boring. Touche. How was uh, the last year's game? Or the Mirage? Did they come out last year or the year before? I can't fucking remember. I think, I think it, was it was the year before. I think it was the year before. I never played that one. It was eh. Mm. Meh. What about you, Chris? Are you uh, excited about Shadows? I'm somewhere in between. I'm cautiously excited. I guess is the best way to put it. I haven't actually been this excited to play one since Black Flag. Ooh. And I'm not mm. walking into it even hoping. I, it's going to be completely different, so I'm going to try my best not to compare the two, but there just there hasn't been another Assassin's Creed game like Black Flag. So I'm hoping that this will be the closest one, if nothing else. Love the era. Love the backstory. And I kind of like the fact that there's, there's rotating characters. That's kind of cool with different... You know, physical features, obviously, so different play styles. Um, seems like it's going to be very story-centric, which they usually are, but they're kind of been limited on past generational consoles, on, you know, what they can do with the videos and how long they can make them. And, you know, with console evolution, I'm just, I'm curious to see how much weight they put into that versus gameplay. But, I mean, it looks absolutely dope so far like i'm i i think i am i think i am excited very very excited but at the same time not gonna be overly surprised if if it disappoints me in some way shape or form it's ubisoft um right that's really you know a lot of people talk shit about like it's almost kind of like a bethesda game where yes, people <laughs> where people talk shit about Bethesda, about how they're always um, buggy and whatnot. Like, it's not a Bethesda game unless it has bugs. And, you know, a lot of people just talk so much shit about Ubisoft that I just, I never commit to playing one of those games because they talk so much shit about them. <laughs> but with that being said, I, I am, from the look of it, from the sound of everything that I've, I've researched, it sounds like it could be a really, really great game, or it could be a terrible game. I'm of the mindset that I don't feel like... Now, this is coming from someone that, again, hasn't played any of these games. I don't think every game needs to be an open-world game. By any, like, I'm not saying it needs to be linear, point A to point B kind of gameplay. But in terms of, do I need every game to be... 70 to 100 hours i don't i'm perfectly okay with if you want to make it like open zone open world ish and it be like a 30 35 hour game i'm there for it okay or even 20 mm -hmm. like not every game needs to be open world not every game needs to be 80 plus hours and from what everybody has told me it sounds like assassin's creed has gone that route in the past, and that is one of the issues with those games is they're just too long, right? Origins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Gotcha. And same thing with Odyssey. Odyssey had what 125 plus hours. But like it's with Assassin's Creed, it's like a dart throw though, man, because it works or it doesn't. Like Black Flag was probably a good if you did everything you wanted to do. What would you say, Christian? Seventy? Yeah. Seventy-five, maybe. Yeah. And I was pissed when it was over. Right, I've, I was I've too. played through that entire thing twice now, and when mm -hmm. I did the last thing I could do, I was mad. I was like, "Well, shit, now we're done again, I guess." But origins and um, but then you had fucking Ezio's saga. That was, that story was there. The gameplay mm -hmm. was man, but the story was fantastic. The story was great. Yeah. I which one was Mirage? Mirage was back in Egypt, right? Yes. 
Mirage How was and it was, it, it was it was shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. Shitty. So essentially, I should just play like a, a fifteen old game, fifteen year old game, and go back to Black like Flag. you. If you go, if you go play Black Flag, and then you go play fucking was it Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and yeah, what, Brotherhood was good, and all those because that's Ezio's saga. There's just three of them with just him in it. Mm-hmm. Those are probably the best ones to play if you want story and you want decent gameplay. Black Flag and Ezio Saga is probably the best ones to go play. And you can get all of those on the Switch, and they actually play fine. Yeah. I've played... I haven't played back through the Ezio trilogy on the Switch, but I've played Black Flag on it, and if they run remotely close to the same, I mean, I never had a single bug with it. It was it was fine. I remember there being a lot of lag with uh, Assassin's Creed 3 when I played it on the Switch. It was like it was some performance issues with it. Oh. But, but who knows? Maybe it'll work better on the Switch 2, which got announced. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> which got announced this past week. Well, it, it got announced, but it didn't get announced. Like, they announced that there will be a follow-up to the Switch, and it will be announced in the next year. But it will not be announced at the next Direct or anything like that. So, people are thinking, like, this shit probably won't be announced until, what, fucking November? One of those Directs? Probably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what are you are you hoping for a Switch Two that just play? You can play all your older games on it, and the new games, like it just has backwards uh, compatibility. Or what, what? What do you want from a new Switch or a new console? Were we gonna get into what? Or do you want me to bring up the the leaks of last week? Or are we not gonna talk about that until they're verified? Uh, what leaks are you talking about? Uh, supposedly, from an inside source, backwards compatibility is going to be a thing. Um, electromagnetic Joy-Cons. That way you don't have to slide them up and down. They're supposed to be able to just oh, yeah, right there on the yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a bigger screen, and it's supposed to support full 4K, 1080i. But that's all that's really leaked so far. But if any of that is true, that tells me all I need to know about the fact that they're not getting too creative. They're not getting, you know, they're not shooting for the stars like they did when they went from what was it, the GameCube to the Wii. Oh yeah. I think, you know, they're just they're doing what's worked for them. They're making it better. And if there's any truth to backwards compatibility, they'll finally have a loyal fan base that doesn't load themselves every time they drop sixty dollars on a game. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like Nintendo doesn't throw us a bone very often. But if you're going to give me a better console, give me a reason to buy it, but I can still plug in Tears of the Kingdom and it looks even better than it did on the console that I replaced, I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. I- I'm fine with just a-, a systematic upgrade. Again, those are leaked rumors, but apparently at least two or three of them were, you know, confirmed with air quotes. I, I don't know how I feel about it because on, on one hand, like you said – Nintendo is there, and they're never, never consumer friendly. Uh, they're they're going to try to make a buck no matter no matter what. And if like you, what you said is true, if this just seems like an upgrade from the Switch rather than a brand new console, which I think everybody kind of just assumed that it would be just an upgrade more so than anything. But here's my thing, and it kind of lends credit to. Maybe this is a more souped up version of the Switch, or maybe it's a brand new console. Is have you noticed that there's just not many Switch games coming out? Yes, yes, I have. Tears of the Kingdom, and then what was the the name of the Mario Wonder? Um, and then they have some a game here or there. What was it? Fucking uh, Peach's Castle or some shit like that. Princess Peach. Uh, hey, they haven't released many many games, honestly. Yeah, that's been kind of all quiet on the Eastern Front Which, with Nintendo. So that tells me either A, they're gearing up to make the uh, the new games strictly Switch 2 compatible, where you cannot play it on the, the OG Switch, 
or it's a brand new console. And I don't know which one I would go with. I'd probably lean more towards um, you just can't you just can't play these types of games on the, the first Switch. Nintendo specific games after release date of the console is what you're saying. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I would I would think that would probably be. I mean, that's a very Nintendo thing to do. But honestly, with some of the shit they've done in the past, I would feel less fucked by that, you know, than <laughs> if it's an entirely new console that doesn't have a feature that really catches my attention. Something tells me that they're going to put out an upgraded version of Tears of the Kingdom for this new console. And something tells me they're going to make you pay $70 again. Uh, some people were saying, oh, maybe they'll they'll make you pay like $10, like all the, the new like PlayStation and Xbox will charge you like $10 to get the upgraded version. I don't think, I, I don't think they'll do that at all. I think they'll make you pay the $70 for the upgraded version. What do you I think? Agree. Probably, if that's the way they do it, like if they actually release the game again. But like, my thing is, and look, I'm not going to say it can't happen. I'm not... I have no dog in this race at all, but like, what can you really do to Tears of the Kingdom to make it better? Besides visually, <laughs> like, uh, like what was it missing? I, I didn't really have any performance issues. A lot of people said there was performance issues. I uh, I never had any. I didn't have a nope. single one. I take that back. I glitched out one time, but but it was because I was. I was dodging the friggin' update. <laughs> he he was trying to do the little uh, little cheat code of getting like infinite arrows or some shit <laughs> and glitched out. <laughs> I needed some money. I was like, I'm not doing this yet. I need more money. I don't have any money. <laughs> I was building my stuff. I actually put that game in like two weeks ago for like an hour and just flew around and piloted my death machines <laughs> for a bit. But that's like, yeah, you know, if they do that and that's cool in concept. And to be honest, if if it was like a 30 hour addition to the story and I just had the money to afford both the game and console or bundle or whatever it came with if it's like an extra 30 or 40 hours I'm sure it would reel a lot of people in but I just like I don't really know what you could add to use that as a selling point to drop 550 on you know I, I don't know that's true I didn't think about DLC we haven't know. got any DLC for it So that could be a potential uh, selling point right there. I, I listen. I, I think they they needed to improve a lot of things in the Switch, and if they're just doing just a souped up. I can play 4K, which for some reason I don't think that's going to happen. Um, something tells me it's just going to be a moderate upgrade from what we have. Uh, look, Nintendo has just never been the type of company that supports and pushes out high quality graphics they're they're all their games just don't really need it honestly it's all about art design most of them don't uh now if they want to go more of the third party route of incorporating uh some bigger name games i'll just throw one out there it, it's not going to by any means so don't 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 take this as oh i'm predicting this game will come out like we'll say assassin's right. creed shadows uh okay more games like that can be on the switch now versus them using it more for first party aspects. I think that's more likely, but for some reason I, I don't think they're going to do a huge ass upgrade in terms of, of that. But I could be wrong, and I probably will be wrong. Well, the the logic and the argument behind that rumor that got leaked when the guy was talking about it, the video I watched, he was saying that supposedly it's going to be able to run 4K on dock mode. But to do that, even on dock mode, you have to have the software in handheld mode to support at least 1080i. So I don't really care about the 4K in dock mode. That ain't really shit to me. On the rare occasion that I ever play my Switch in dock mode, it's not for very long. Because if, if I'm at home sitting down playing a video game, I'm going to be playing my PlayStation anyway. But if you're going to take my Switch screen from 720i to 1080i, even with you know the vibrant Nintendo jovial graphics we all know and love... I'm there for that, if that's, you know. Because the jump from 720 to 4K is unreasonable to be holding in your hand and looking at it. I understand that. Shout out. But even from 720 mm -hmm. to 1080. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't shout out. It's not unreasonable at all. <laughs> uh. 
But no. Walk around in 1080i. I, I just, look, I'm cautiously optimistic about the Switch 2 because I just know Nintendo is just going to try to fuck us somehow with this. Oh, yeah, so no, they will. That's understood at this point. It's, it's go, they're going to try somehow. 